first met Annie about seven years ago, she was just keen to try something new. She had seen Kira Knightley looking really good on a carpet and decided that she wanted me. <laughs> and then we started working together and I've been chasing her around ever since. The Chanel dress for the Globes, the white Chanel dress. That was one of my favorites. And she, it just looked perfect on her and I loved it. And you know, we didn't do an awful lot of makeup, but for me, it's always the full picture is what's appropriate for the event and what's appropriate with the outfit. Because Annie has the short hair now, it's, it's very tempting to just go towards the 60s with her because she lends herself so well to that aesthetic. But then I also wanted it to have a modern edge Plus I was thinking about the theme of Coco Chanel, of course, and the black and the white and the monochrome nature of everything. And then I remembered that I had these tiny little seed pearls. Um, but I bought these pearls in Paris once and I just held on to them. And, um, and I was like, well, today's the day to use the pearls. And it just kind of all came together at the last minute, really. I had a rough idea, but... Finding the shape is the most important thing with a smoky eye. So what I like to do is I'll, I'll work with either a black grease product. Core pencils are great because they're designed to work with the moisture in the eye. So generally speaking, if I'm doing an ink pot eye, a very dark smoky eye, I'll start out with a coal. It's always a good thing if you're gonna do a smoky eye that you leave the skin clean, do the eye, and then clean up your mess and then put your foundation on. Uh, that's not the way it went today, but <laughs> that's how I would do it ordinarily. <laughs> In relation to Anne, I always think of Jean Seberg, you know, especially now she has this little haircut. I just love those little elfin pixie girls from the 60s. I love, I love that look.